Hello, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. So we are going through special series as part of sequences and series. Let's look at this series what we have to solve to find out the sum of this series. We have to find out the sum of this series which is 5 plus 10 plus 19 plus 32 plus 49. You can see very clearly this series is not in any standard progression that means it's not in any arithmetic progression or geometric progression and e or harmonic progression. But now how to find out the sum of this particular series. For that if you closely observe let us try to find out what is the difference between the terms of this. Okay? See what is the difference between them. 5 and 10. What is the difference? The difference is nothing but equal to 5. Similarly 10 and 19. What is the difference? The difference is nothing but equal to 9. 19 and 32. What is the difference? The difference is 13. And 32 and 49. What is the difference? <coughs> the difference is 17. Now you can see this particular series is not in arithmetic progression but the difference of the terms is in arithmetic progression. Now what is the difference I got? I got 5, 9 and I got 13 and I got 17. So this sequence 5, 9, 13, 17 going on is in arithmetic progression. That means if somehow I am able to subtract the terms in such a way <coughs> that I can find out the difference like I did now 10 minus 5 I got 5 right that means if I shift this to right side and subtract from the same so that I can get this arithmetic progression then I can apply the formula and I can do it let me repeat that again we have a series which is like 5 plus 10 plus 19 plus 32 plus 49 which is not in any standard progression but what we know what we can observe is that the difference between the terms that is respectively 5, 9, 13, 17 going on they are in arithmetic progression that means if I am able to tweak or manipulate this series in such a way that I can get this arithmetic progression out that means I shift the series right by 1 and subtract this first term from the second term similarly the second term from the third term I should be able to get go ahead so let me do that what I will do for that I will write this is nothing but equal to SN because we know we have to add all those terms now I will say again SN but what I will do now I will shift it right side and I will say 5 plus 10 why I am doing that because I have seen the difference between them is in arithmetic progression now if I subtract them I will get arithmetic progression that is the intention now 5 plus 19 plus 32 I will have and I will have at the end nth term that is nothing but a n n let us say it is a n n now a n actually now if you if you subtract if you subtract okay that's okay if you subtract what you will see you will see that when I subtract cancels out becomes a 0 equal to I will have 5 then observe from here we have seen already I will have 5 then I will have 9 then I will have 13 then I will have 17 all the terms how many terms I will have n minus 1 terms I will have can you tell me why n minus 1 terms I will have because 5 is taken out 5 is not part of that series so because it is not in arithmetic progression after 5 we are in arithmetic progression and when I subtract this a n will become minus of a n. So this is what I got once we subtracted. If you are able to understand this then you are pretty pretty clear what to do in this type of problems. So let me repeat that again. What we have done is we have shifted the series to the right by 1 so that we can get the difference because we observed that the difference between the terms is in arithmetic progression. So when I do that I get 0 equal to 5 plus all the terms which are in arithmetic progression those are n minus 1 terms and I will get at the end a n term because the first term of the first series first series written and the last term of the series will be present remaining all will all will come into this arithmetic progression 
now what is the meaning of this nothing but a n equal to 5 plus the arithmetic progression 5 plus 9 plus 13 up to n minus 1 terms so now we know how to find out the sum of n, n terms of an arithmetic progression so I can go ahead and say that a n is equal to nothing but 5 plus now what is the formula for this s n is equal to n by 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d if you are finding it for n terms but now we are interested in n minus 1 terms so it will become n minus 1 by 2 into 2 a that is nothing but 2 into 5 plus n minus 1 n is already n minus 1 so it becomes n minus 2 into d d is nothing but the difference between the terms common difference is 4 now I have to simplify this if I simplify this I will get a n equal to 5 plus n minus 1 by 2 into 10 plus 4 n minus 8 that's nothing but equal to 5 plus n minus 1 by 2 into 4 n minus 8 plus 10 that is 4 n plus 10 4 n plus 10 now if you simplify this now if you simplify this this is nothing but equal to 5 plus n minus 1 into 4 n plus 10 I can cancel with 2 I will have 2 n plus 5 so I have 4 n minus 8 plus 10 right that is nothing but equal to 4 n plus 2 actually so I will have just one minute I will just fix it we have 4 n minus 8 plus 10 that is 4 n plus 2 so I will have here 2 n plus 1 so this is nothing but 5 plus n minus 1 into 2 n plus 1 so if you simplify that 2 n into n is 2 n square 2 n into minus is minus 2 n plus n so I will have minus n 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 plus 5 so I will have 4 so a n is nothing but equal to 2 n square minus n plus 4 I just want to make sure that we got it correct for that what I will do I will substitute the value of n equal to 1 2 3 in this and check whether I am getting the terms of the series or not if n equal to 1 I will have what is the equation I got 2 n square minus n plus 4 let me write it in some different color 2 n square minus n plus 4 n equal to 1 I'll have 2 minus 1 plus 4 that's equal to 5 good n equal to 2 2 into 2 square minus 2 plus 4 that's nothing but equal to 4, four into 2 into 2 square that's nothing but equal to 8 8 plus 4 is 12 12 minus 2 is 10 so I got the second term also I will do final check for n equal to 3 that's nothing but 2 into 3 square minus 3 plus 4 that's nothing but equal to 12 minus 3 that's nothing but 3 3's are 9 9 2's are 18 18 minus 3 plus 4 that's nothing but equal to 19 so we are good to go we are good to go with the whatever the a n we got so you can cross check before you proceed because there is a chance of always doing mistake because at the end we are human beings we tend to do small small mistakes okay we have a n equal to 2 n square minus n plus 4 so s n is nothing but equal to now you know a n equal to this what will be s n s n is nothing but equal to 2 sigma k equal to 1 to n n square minus sigma k equal to 1 to n n plus 4 you have to add n times so it will become 4 n by this time you are comfortable with that this is nothing but equal to 2 into n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 minus n into n plus 1 by 2 plus 4 into n if you simplify that 
let me try to simplify that so this is 2 by 6 so I will write this as 3 by 6 then I will make this as 24 by 6 so that I can have 6 at the bottom I will have 6 then I have to do lot of multiplications here so I will take n out then let us see what is left out I will have 2n plus 1 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 minus 3 into n plus 1 that is 3 n plus 3 plus 24 if you simplify this let us see what we get now we are going in this direction we are about to wrap it up so 2 into n is 2 n into 2 n is 4 n square I don't have any other n square terms so I can comfortably write 4 n square then let's look at n terms 2 n into 1 is 2 n plus 2 into 2 n is 4 n that is 6 n minus 3 n so I will have 3 n then let's look at uh, constants I have 2 into 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 24 so I will have 23 I have just missed I have just skipped a couple of steps there but I think you should be able to manage on your own that's nothing but equal to n into 4 n square minus 3 n plus 23 by 6 this is nothing but the sum of the series now let us check whether this is correct or not what is that we got just let us write it somewhere what is that we have got let's write it somewhere okay I will just erase this one we just got n into 4 n square minus 3 n plus 23 by 6 n into 4 n square minus 3 n plus 23 by 6 that is the answer we got let's now we got the formula s n equal to n into 4 n square minus 3 n plus 23 by 6 we just want to have a cross verification that we have done it correct or not so n equal to 1 my s n should be equal to 5 so let's check by the formula that's nothing but 5 into 4 minus 3 4 minus 3 plus 23 by 6 that's nothing but equal to okay this is plus I think I did a mistake there this is 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 23 30 30 by we have n equal to 1 so 7 plus 23 30 30 by 6 is 5 if I take n equal to 2 Sn equal to 5 plus 10 15 let's check for here I will have 2 into 2 square is 4 4 into 4 is 16 16 plus 23 is ok I will write it here I will say 4 into 4 plus 3 into 4 plus 23 divided by 6 that is 16 plus 12 28 plus 4 into n square that's nothing but 16 plus 3 into 2 that is 6 22 22 plus 23 is 45 so I'll have 2 into 45 by 6 that's nothing but equal to 15 some silly typo here but uh, this is the same formula we have 4 n square plus 3 n plus 23 by 6 4 square plus 3 into n plus 23 by 6 similarly you can let's look cleanly for s n n equal to 3 without doing any mistakes my part n equal to 3 I have to add 3 times 15 plus 19 34 I will be very careful now I will say 3 by 6 into 4 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 plus 23 I think I haven't done any mistake 3 3's are 9, 9 4's are 36, 36 plus 23 is 59, 59 plus 9 is 68. So I'll have 3 into 68 by 6. I hope it's correct. I'll get 34. Super. So 
that's how we can solve this problem but there is another way of solving this let's look into that way how to solve this problem in another way other than using the difference method another way of solving these type of problems without using the difference method is whenever you see that the difference of the terms in arithmetic progression you let us assume that a n is of the form a n square plus b n plus c we already solved this problem so we know what is that value right let us leverage that value what is that value we know we know it is nothing but equal to 2 n square minus n plus 4 is it correct or not let's check for 1 2 minus 1 1 plus 4 2 into 2 4 2 are 8 6 plus 4 yes it's correct so a n is nothing but equal to 2 n square minus n plus 4 now what we will do in this we will not use the difference but we understand that the difference of the terms is in arithmetic progression what we will do then is we know that the first term is 5 the second term is 10 the third term is 19 so we have lot of equations we can get and we can solve for a b c three equations three variables so first equation will be a 1 that is nothing but 5 equal to a into 1 square n equal to 1 i am substituting a equal to 1 n equal to 1 a 1 is 5 equal to a plus b plus c if i go for a 2 a 2 is nothing but equal to 10 that is equal to a into 2 square that is 4a plus b into n that is nothing but equal to 2b plus c 4a plus 2b plus c equal to 10 now let's go to the third one third term is nothing but equal to 19 that is nothing but equal to a into n is 3 now so 3 square is 9a plus b into 3 that is 3b plus c equal to 19 now you can use any of the methods and you can simplify that what i wish to do is i will take c equal to 5 minus of a minus b and substitute in these two terms and find out the values you will get a equal to 2 b equal to minus 1 and c equal to 4 if you substitute them that's nothing but 2n square minus n plus 4 which is nothing but the equation what we got earlier once you got the a n afterwards the problem is same once you got the a n whatever the approach you follow finding out the s n is same now if you let us check whether these equations are correct a equal to 2 2 minus 1 plus 4 that is nothing but equal to 5 4 a is nothing but equal to 8 2 b is minus 2 c is 4 8 plus 4 12 minus 2 is 10 correct let's go for this one 9 twos are 18 3 b's are minus 3 c is 4 18 minus 3 15 15 plus 4 is 19 so these three equations whatever we kept are correct if you solve them you will get the value how we will do that in one equation we will now we have three equations three variables how to solve them is take one variable out so equate one variable to the other variables like c to a and b now substitute value of c in terms of a and b in equation 2 and equation 3 solve equation 2 and equation 3 you will get a b values now put that in the first equation so that you can get the value of c that is how we can solve these problems so that's about special series and specific to difference method and also using using a n equal to a n square plus b n plus c remember this is applicable only when the difference of terms of the given series is in arithmetic progression after that we are equating the term a 1 a 2 a 3 to the formula a n square plus b n plus c and we are finding out the value of a b c thanks for visiting see you in the next session bye for now